Anthony Joshua took the boxing world by storm when he brutally knocked out the predator Francis Agnew in the first five minutes of their Riyadh showdown. As they are, but this right hand is the biggest shot I have seen live. That's what a right hand that was. Incredible. And you can see the leg completely... Let's go, Josh. Finish it. Finish it. seconds remaining of the Finish second it. round. Finish it. Wow. And Finish Anthony it. Joshua... Finish him. Oh! There you go! Wow. Oh, oh my God. Cold Francis Ngannou. Out Woo. cold. That wow. is how you deal with a non boxer. That's what a professional boxer does. Let's what go. A performance. Wow. Just a little bit of calm and collectiveness. I want to see where Francis Ngannou is at right now. He looks like he's still down. Looks like he's. He was incredibly that was hurt. A bad knockout. Nobody that has was a ever bad done that to Francis Ngannou. Sensational from Anthony Joshua. He has not Look, Francis Ngannou in, clean mate. out in two rounds. Little bit of calm, little bit of collectiveness to, before we see, obviously, the situation with Francis Ngannou. But that, gents, was absolutely mate. unbelievable. This knockout was heard around the boxing and MMA world as it was the first time Francis got knocked out cold in his combat sport career. Anthony Joshua's superior boxing skills and timing dropped Francis Ngannou twice before finally knocking the wind out of him the third time. The right hand by AJ was so devastating that the grandson of Muhammad Ali, Nico Ali Walsh, posted, really hope Francis is okay. No surprise by Joshua, Clarissa Shields also got stunned by the power punch as she posted, damn AJ. Amir Khan was amazed by AJ's performance and called his knockout as the biggest right hand in boxing. Wow. All I'm going to say is wow. Even Manny was like, wow. I mean, <laughs> we were both we both jumped off our seats. He literally caught Ngannou with the biggest right hand in boxing. I mean, the, 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 the power he had in that shot, everything in it, you could see Ngannou was just... Former UFC flyweight champion Demetrius Johnson reacted by saying, holy shit, that was nasty. Ryan Garcia, who is also beefing with the UFC bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley, simply advised MMA fighters to stop coming to boxing as things will get worse. He posted, let this be a big warning to MMA fighters. Stop coming to boxing. It will only get worse. It's more even if we just go to your sport. Over. One punch. Sending healing prayers to Francis. Your bravery and guts should be commendable. Congratulations, Anthony Joshua. Tommy and John Fury were also amazed by the spectacular knockout. Perfect. Punch perfect, yeah? Punch perfect. What was your reaction the first time and Ngannou got dropped? AJ's a banger. Listen, it's it. It's over, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just like you can see there. Punch perfect. Big, big pops to AJ. Deserve it. Isn't it? John, can I get you as well? Can you get your reaction? Clinical. Sergio Mora reacted by calling AJ's knockout as the knockout of the year. He also took a jab at MMA fighters by posting, Brutal KO by AJ. I would say it's KO of the year, but this ain't real. And we all know MMA fighters can't take a punch. Manny Pacquiao also applauded the power of Anthony Joshua as he said that he's too strong. Joshua, very good, very good. What was your reaction when he dropped him? In the, in the first, uh, first round, what was your reaction when he landed that right hand? Oh, it's a... It's too strong. It's too strong. Devin Haney congratulated Anthony Joshua by posting, Congrats, boys. Job well done. Showbiz the adult lost his cool while reacting to the fight. He bashed Francis and told him to go back to MMA. AJ beat the shit out of him. Like he's supposed to. Three knockdowns. I told you AJ gonna beat him worse than Fury did. He took him seriously. Now take your ass back to the MMA where you belong. Frank Warren also appreciated Anthony Joshua and called his performance brilliant. Warren stated, well, that was just a brilliant performance. A very emphatic win. And I said before the fight out of the two, whoever landed that big shot will come out as the fighter. And that's how it turned out. Joshua did a great job. Nice jabs, knocked him Francis down in the first round and twice in the second with the same shots. It was an absolute class act performance. It was brilliant. After the fight, Anthony Joshua showed respect to Francis Ngannou and told him not to leave boxing after this fight. Yeah, great to see that Ngannou's up alert. And I don't think he knows what happened. No idea. You're an inspiration. Okay, thank you. Beat a lot of people. Don't leave boxing. No, I will not. Don't leave. Do it. Don't leave boxing, you know. 
AJ also mentioned this in the post-fight interview when he stated, he's Francis, a great champion, and this doesn't take away anything of his capabilities. He can come again. I told him he should not leave boxing. He can do well. He's two fights in and he's fought the best. He can go a long way if he stays dedicated. After the fight, Francis Ngannou expressed his disappointment in an interview and told that he feels sad after his knockout loss to Anthony Joshua. I just get, you know, how's your feeling right now, obviously, after that, that uh, fight with JG? Sad. Sad. Yeah, that's how. When asked if he'll go back to MMA after this or stay in boxing, Francis stated, I think I can still do both. I'm going to take some time to rest, come back, and make it because I knew what I was doing. I knew what I was doing was dangerous to come after the top of the game from my beginning. And you know that's what happened. He was then asked about the difference he felt between Tyson Fury and AJ during his fights with him. He said his fight with AJ didn't last long enough to figure out a difference. Uh... Well, the fight didn't go long enough for me to figure out so many different... Francis later took to X and apologized to the fans for his poor showing. He posted, Sorry guys, I let you all down. Today was a bad day in the office, but tomorrow will be another day. Thank you all for the love. Connor Ben was also shocked by the knockout. When asked about the brutal KO, Connor stated, Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a knockout. You know what I mean? It was absolutely spiteful. Connor also pointed out the difference between an MMA fighter and a boxer and explained how a well prepared boxer will always come on top. You know what? Once a boxer, once an MMA fighter, and I think you can't do the, I mean, it shows levels. One is boxing and one is MMA, and one boxing is taking it very seriously. You know, boxing is boxing. When asked about how he feels about this version of Anthony Joshua, Connor stated, Unbelievable. Whatever they're doing is working. I want to see AJ vs. Fury now. It's the only fight I want now. Connor is not the only one who wants a AJ Fury showdown, as AJ and his promoter Eddie Hearn themselves called out Tyson Fury in the post-match interview. I just want to fight. Is that the winner of Fury Usyk next? Yes, it is. Let's bring in a man that can talk about making that fight happen, Eddie Hearn. Eddie, I mean, I know a lot of people say AJ's back, he's beyond back. This is, I think, the best Anthony Joshua we've seen for a long time, maybe even ever. You know, I'm so proud of him because there's a huge amount of pressure tonight. People talking about if he was to lose to Francis Ngannou, what would happen? He rolled the dice because his excellence, he said, if we win this fight, we will fight the winner of Fury against Usyk. Eddie continued by calling Anthony Joshua the number one heavyweight in the world. I'm so proud of him because there was a huge amount of pressure. If we won this fight, then he would fight the winner of Fury v. Usyk. You're looking at the number one heavyweight in the world. He told Tyson to beat Usyk, so a match between Tyson and AJ would become possible. Eddie stated, Tyson Fury, please beat Usyk because you will get the biggest fight in the history of the sport. As a fighter, he's AJ, an inspiration to young people. What I said would happen, happened. He destroyed Francis Ngannou. He's a beast, and I cannot wait for him to beat Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury was later asked about Eddie Hearn, claiming that AJ is the number one heavyweight in the world. He replied by stating, I'm sure that only Alexander Usyk will have something to say about that, considering he beat him twice in the last few years ago. And me and Usyk have got an undisputed world heavyweight championship coming up. Joshua's just did a show fight in Saudi Arabia, which is fantastic for the show. But for the actual real boxing, it's me and Usyk who will fight for the no, one and no, two position in the undisputed championship of the world. When asked about his reaction regarding AJ knocking out Francis Ngannou, Fury said that it was how it should have happened and congratulated Joshua. Right. <laughs> Listen, he's done absolutely fantastic tonight. He lit him up with the right hand, which was perfect, and knocked him out. That's what a boxer should have done to him. Mm. That's what he should have done, so congratulations. Well done. But if he fights me in the future after I've dealt with Usek twice, next year, then it'd be a different game. Mm. Despite all of this drama and a brutal knockout, Anthony Joshua took to Instagram and posted a picture of him and Francis Ngannou showing mutual respect between the two. The post captioned, Respect my guy, African Giants. So what do you think about this massive knockout victory of Anthony Joshua against Francis Ngannou? Will Fury fight AJ? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.